שלום לכל הצופים, ברוכים הבאים לשידורים החיים של דוקוטקסט, פסטיבל הסרטים הדוקומנטריים של הספרייה הלאומית. איתנו דוקטור רחל יוקליס, ומיד תשוחח עם כמאל הסקר, יוצר הסרט. כמו כן, האירוע הזה, כמו כל אירועי הפסטיבל, מצולם ויעלה לעמוד אירועים באתר הפסטיבל, כך שיהיה זמין לצפייה לכל מי שירצה. דקות. ערב טוב, תודה שהצטרפתם אלינו. ממש עכשיו נתחיל. חשוב לציין שלא תוכלו לפתוח מיקרופון במהלך ההרצאה, אבל אתם מוזמנים לפתוח את המצלמות. תהנו. שלום לכל הצופים, ברוכים הבאים לשידורים החיים של דוקו טקסט, פסטיבל הסרטים הדוקומנטריים של הספרה הלאומית. אני רחל יוקליס, ומיד אשוחח עם כמל אשכר, יוצר הסרט "בעיניך אני רואה את ארצי". השיחה תתקיים באנגלית, ולמי שצופה בנו בזום, אתם מוזמנים לכתוב שאלות בצ'אט, ונוכל להתייחס אליהן בתום השיחה עם כמל. כמו כן, האירוע הזה, כמו כל אירועי הפסטיבל, מצולם ויעלה לעמוד אירועים באתר הפסטיבל, כך שיהיה זמין לכם לצפייה ולכל מי שירצה. Good evening, מסע אל חייר, כמאל, it's wonderful to be here with you. How are you? Thank you, I'm fine. מסע אל חייר. Shalom, Azul, but I'm Azik, because I am Berber, I'm Azik. I am very good, thank you. I am very happy also to, to be with the DocuText on National Library of Israel, because uh, uh, it's an opportunity to share also my mind about my, uh, my last movie. Thank you. So tell me, you are currently in Marrakesh, yes? Yes, I live in Marrakesh. I decided to, to move here uh, just one year after my first movie, Tinrir Jerem. Um, I was born in Morocco, in Tinrir. It's a, it's a small uh, city in the south of Morocco. Perhaps you know this song, Kfar um, Todra, Shel Shlomo Bar, and uh, I am from this city, I'm from this tribu, you know. And um, I left Morocco, I have six months, and I grew up in France. Uh, and uh, it was strange, you know, because uh, when I did my first movie about uh, the Jews from uh, Tinrir, from my city, uh, it's a movie about exile, about Galut, you know, about um, plural identity, about people leave uh, their country. And uh, me, I decided to, to come back to live here in Marrakesh. It's strange. It was It's also my dream, interesting, you know? and, and I would love to uh, delve into that a little bit. Um, so you grew yeah. up in France, you grew up in Paris or in a suburb of Paris? Uh, I grew up not uh, in Paris, you know, I grew up in the province. I don't know what, uh, how do you say in, uh, 
Provence. In, uh, in, uh, in English, you know, because my father worked, uh, it, was a work, it was a worker in a central nuclear. I lived also when I was child in uh, Skinderia, in Egypt, you know, during uh, two years. Wow. And I was in um, several places in France. And we stayed only one year uh, each time, you know. But the connection with Morocco are uh, never over. Uh, every summer we were in, uh, in Morocco, specifically in Tenerife, uh, in my hometown to visit my family, my house, and uh, because I was born there, you know. And uh, for me, it was also very important, this, um, this relation between France and, uh, and Morocco. So right away we hear how from an early age you were negotiating complicated parts of your identity, yes? You, you said you started out from a small town in Morocco and you moved to yeah. uh, a town in France and then your family moved around so you experienced different cultures um, and then yeah. later on you ended up in the Sorbonne, right, in, uh, in Paris. So, and then you went back for summers to Morocco. What was that like? What was, what was going back to Morocco like as a child for you? Was it homecoming or was it exotic? It was, uh, you know, I always feel something strange, you know. Uh, it's my strange, uh, strangeness. Uh, mon étrange étrangeté in French. And um, I was born in uh, Tinrir. In the big Casbah, you know, it's, a, it's like, a, for me, it's, in, it's just incredible. And uh, I, I grew up in France, the, in the modern city. And uh, for me, it was like a big travel when, uh, when we went to, to Morocco every summer to be in front of my family, Berber family, you know. And uh, uh, when I was a child, you know, I remember also when I was in French for them, I am. Uh, I, I was uh, Moroccan, you know, and also for the Moroccan, uh, from also my family, uh, for them I was French, and uh, I am also the first uh, in my family to 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 have my baccalaureate to go in the university. All that it's uh, like a, a big travel, uh, also, uh, and uh, I think my um, all my inspiration, uh, my creative work came from this. Uh, this strange um, place, you know, to be in between social, uh, social, uh, because I, I, I was uh, from the popular family, not, uh, not poor, you know, but uh, not intellectual, not uh, bourgeoisie, uh, but uh, very, I am very proud with this, you know, and uh, I became a professor because I teach during um, 12 years uh, in France, in high school and a little bit in, in the university. Uh, I am always in between, and all my work uh, speaks about that. You know how we can uh, manage uh, this uh, this strange feeling to be in between, and specifically for me, if I want to be more exact, it's to how I can manage my loyalty, my uh, fidelity. I think uh, mm -hmm. with my community, but uh, in the same time. I want also to be emancipated, you know, from this, uh, from this part of my uh, community and not to be a bogey, not to be a traitor, you know, and it's to, 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 to have all this world and it's often an opposite world, you know, but I want to, to, to permit to, 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 to have this world always with me. And sometimes it's very, it's a big tension for me but uh, it's a very creative also. I, I think um, I, um, I uh, comment on dit en français? Je suis, I sublime, sublime, mm -hmm. sublime, you yes. know? Uh -huh. I sublime uh, all this tension by cinema and uh, specifically by the documentary. Um, what I'm hearing is that you, you embrace the complexity. There are many people who run away from complex identity issues but as you said to be able to stay loyal to the different parts of your identity while not accepting one or the other but but taking in all of the complexity is 
is a much more profound and rich way of living, and it's much harder. Now, what's interesting to me is that you could have made movies about Moroccans in France, but you have made two movies about Jews who originated in Morocco and live in Israel. How come? Why, yeah. What interests you about exploring these identity issues, not with Muslims moving from rural Morocco to France, but with Jews who emigrated from Morocco and uh, in the second film to go back to explore their own identity in Morocco? Yeah, it's a good question. Thank you, Raquel. Um, I think it's because when I heard for the first time, uh, my fir first, my first connection with the Jewish culture, it was in, in school when I learned about Shoah, about the destruction of the Jewish by, um, totalitarian, by Hitler, by the Nazis, you know? And um, I was uh, very young, I was a teenager, and I feel a big empathy with this um, uh, sufferance, you know? Uh, I read a lot of book. I, re uh, I was, j'ai été marqué, I very, was marked by the book of uh, Primo Levi, uh, Si c'est si un homme, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, voila, it was my first connection with this, uh, with this uh, culture. And after also in a class of philosophy, I learned about Marx, Sigmund Freud, Walter Benjamin. And for me, it was, wow, I, I, I observed, wow, they are all Jews, you know. And they created something very universal, you know? You know, the story of Sigmund Freud is very interesting because it came from the religious family. Yes. I think his father was, rabbi, was religious and he created uh, uh, the la psychanalyse, you know? And uh, something, how we can manage your particular identity with uh, something big, more big of you, you know? Okay. And I always, me too. I wanted to manage with my French culture because I, I grew up in France. I was in school in France. And I wanted to manage also with my Amazir culture, you know, to have, uh, to have both, uh, not to choose uh, um, French or, uh, I remember the question of my grandfather always when I, I came for the first time in Morocco, what did you prefer, to be in France or in Morocco? I don't, uh, I don't want to choose, you know. And, um, and for me, when I heard uh, from my grandfather, Bahal, uh, no, the father of my father um, in Mar uh, about Jews in Morocco, I never learned about Jews in Morocco. I believed the uh, Moroccan uh, were only Muslim, you know. Mm -hmm. And he told me about his friend, Moshe and David, and I was surprised, why? We have Moshe and David in Morocco? But I believe it was just Muhammad, Mustafa, Kamal, the name, Arabic name, you know, or Amazigh name. And I was very surprised. And when I discovered from my grandfather uh, this incredible story about Jews uh, left Morocco, and uh, specifically Tinrir, we have a small community and very important community. I think it was strange for me. It was, it was a strangeness. And I feel immediately empathy with uh, this story because I told you, I, I was in between also. I feel also strangeness, you know? Mm -hmm. And my strangeness meet also, met also this strangeness. And I found uh, myself about this Jewish absence, you know? About my, uh, I, I realized, c'est uh, quoi? to be a Mazir, you know, to be a uh, Moroccan through this Jewish absence. And I started to, to, to read a book, to, to ask my, uh, the whole people in Tenerife, and it was the beginning of, uh, of a big experience uh, about myself, about uh, cinema, about a lot of scenes in the same time, you know. And, uh, at the beginning, I didn't want to make a, a movie. I wanted to, to make a PhD. Uh, so I returned to, to Sorbonne uh, to, to make a PhD about these topics, you know, and a Jewish community in Tenerife. 
and I started to to go to the Nantes because the Nantes is the, the big city in France. We have archive about uh, colonialism in Morocco, you know, about cities and uh, from Morocco, etc. And I found uh, pictures, the whole pictures. I found incredible story about uh, the relationship between Jews and Muslim uh, in Tenerife. Uh, specifically because I was only interested by by my city and uh, it was the beginning of that you know and uh, in 2005 uh, I started to go to to see uh, some film about uh, about Palestinian and uh, Israeli uh, cinema in French you know and uh, I discovered the uh, Ronit El Kabetz uh, a lot La Fiancée Syrienne, Aaron Rickles, and uh, it was a big, uh, uh, in 2005 in Paris, it was a, it was very uh, big cinema from Israel and from Palestine, you know, in French, we discovered this cinema. And in my mind, I was teacher in this moment. I know in my mind, in a little place, I know in this area in Israel, uh, the Jewish from Tinrir uh, were there, you know, and uh, I decided to 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 make a to make a road trip in Palestine and in Israel uh, with a with a friend of mine. She was a Jews from Algeria, but she was not a Zionist, and uh, she don't have a kesha with the, with the Israel, blah blah blah. But uh, she wanted to discover, it, you know, also herself, you know. But I discovered this country. I, I went to Jaffa. I went to Jerusalem, uh, Ramallah, uh, Hebron, um, a lot of places, you know. But I didn't uh, find. I didn't uh, looking for also uh, Jewish. It's, uh, it was like uh, not taboo, but uh, I was li I think little bit afraid, you know, to find something. And uh, during this moment, I met a. We lost in the whole city in Jerusalem. It's important because uh, it was also, I met this uh, French uh, guy and uh, we started to be friends, you know. And uh, in me, I think in this moment, I wanted to, to start to learn Hebrew also. And this man talk, talked to me about one organization in, uh, in Paris, talking in peace, uh, parler en paix, is to, to learn Hebrew and Arabic in the same time, you know? Wow. Because you know Arabic and, the, and the Hebrew are, are sister and brother, yes. you know, in language. They, they have the same uh, roots. And um, I came back to France and I started to learn Hebrew. And this organization organized uh, a road trip again in Israel and uh, in Palestine to meet people of uh, uh, civil society making bridge between Palestinian and Israeli, you know? Mm -hmm. And I will go, I, I went in this, uh, in this group, I was the only Moroccan, and we, we were in Pekin, 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 Pekin in Galil, mm -hmm. Druze villages, and our guide was uh, Moroccan too. Uh, he, he left Morocco, uh, he was uh, 20, you know, but we became friends, Talking to me always in Darija, you know, Kamal, Kamal, Ajil, and Baba, Baba. Ba. It, uh, we, we, it was just incredible uh, complicity, you know. And we were in this, uh, uh, in these small villages, and uh, Yo his name was Yossi Ben Shetrit, you know, Yossi Amar, sorry. And he told me, Kamal, Kamal, I want to introduce you uh, another, another Yossi, Yossi Ben Shetrit for, from Orakiva. Uh, he's Moroccan too. He said, oh, okay, no, good. It's very good. Uh, nice to meet you. Marhaba, Tasharafna. And uh, he told me I am Sabra. I, I was born in uh, Israel, but my parents uh, are Moroccan. So, oh, okay, we're from Morocco. He told me from the south of Morocco. I, t I told him when, uh, where in the south of Morocco. He told me a small village is uh, near to Warzazet uh, in the Atlas. <laughs> where uh, it, it suddenly told me Tinrir. Wow. Wow. I was, I ATBLM, you know, I was in <laughs> shock because uh, it was, uh, you know, I saw the whole picture about uh, the Jews from Tinrir and suddenly uh, I found 
uh, one uh, when descent descendant from uh, from my from this community you know mm -hmm. uh, I, I i was in the book and now it, it was the reality and i think it was in this moment my desire to make a I switch totally my desire to make a movie because I saw the reaction of the people of the group. They cried, and for them it was. And also me, I was very. Uh, wow, it was incredible, you know, this meeting, and it was the beginning to to think about to make something about Jews from Tinerir, and I realized uh, Tinerir Jerusalem. I, I want to get to our uh, to your second film and the film of the evening, but I but I want to also ask just a moment about the first that first experience was the Tinrir in the Jewish memory of these uh, women. They were mostly women, right? That you interviewed. Um, was it your Tinrir or was it a different place? Did you did you identify with the place that they had nostalgia for? I didn't uh, understand very good the question. Can I'll, you I'll say it again, sure. Um, the people yeah. in Israel who you, who you interviewed, whom you interviewed, yeah. they were from Tenrir or their parents were from Tenrir, yes? Yeah. Um, when they described Tenrir, did you recognize it? Did you recognize the Tenrir of their memories? Of course, because I heard the same stories from the both side, also from the Muslim side, you know. You know, I asked many peoples uh, in uh, Morocco, my family first, my grandmother, my grandfather, rest in peace, you know. And uh, of course I recognize Tinerir. They recognize also, they remember about my grandfather also. Oh. They know him, you know. But for me it was just, uh, Wow, incredible, you know, to, to, to find this point of uh, partic particular stories with the universal stories about this exile, you know. And, um, you know, uh, the common uh, between us, we think, we thought, uh, we lost something very big uh, from the Jewish side and from the Muslim side, you know. Uh, what was my uh, desire to make? Because I, uh, I feel an uh, imargish. I feel something. I was always uh, like orphelin, you know, about this. Uh, I never uh, lived this uh, moment because I was. Uh, I am so young, you know. Uh, the uh, the the last Jewish, the last Jews uh, uh, that they left in Rir, it was in '64, uh, you know, and but. Uh, I heard from the Muslim side this nostalgia, this uh, this uh, tendresse, you know, about other uh, from the both side. It was not like black or white, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, the memory is also very selective. But they wanted to 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 select only the good memory about Tinrir, about its relationship between Jews and Muslim. And, uh, and specifically in these small cities like Tinrir, you know, it was in the mountain, it was not in the big city like Casablanca or Fez, and uh, they are not separated. Uh, they are not a melah, for example, you know. The house uh, were uh, very close, uh, next to next, you know. And yeah, of course, I heard about, from the both sides, it was strange for me. I met this Shalom Illouz, I, I, I organized these sequences with my father through Skype, you know, and they started to to talk in Amazir. And for me, it was wow. I was, when I heard this uh, um, for the first time, Shalom Luz from Yavne, to this Israeli, uh, this Moroccan uh, became Israeli, talking until now in Shluch. You know, you know what, what does it mean, Shluch, in your slang language, like primitive language, primitive culture, but no, it's not a primitive, it's something very big, you know, and I wanted to give them a dignity about this uh, moment of the story, you know, and uh, just to, to see them, to share the same language, the same uh, memories, uh, the same territories, you know, 
And specifically now in this context, uh, with the nationalism, with the racism, with the anti-Semitism, it's very, very important. This is a political act, um, I think, my work, and it's for to make a transition with this new movie in your eyes, I see my country, because when I finish Tenerir Jerusalem, um, I know in this moment, I didn't finish to explore uh, this uh, topic. And I met a little bit by chance, it was Maktoub, like my first meeting, Netal Kayam. And when I saw her for the first time to sing Lin Monte Yaumi, I was in shock also, and I wanted to, to, to meet her. What year was that when you met, when you first met Neta? <laughs> the story too. So I have to read a book about uh, all that because it's uh, just incredible. Um, I, was, I, 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 was, I was selected in Agadir for the Documentary Film Festival with my first movie, you know, and I met in the only kosher restaurant in Agadir in Morocco, uh, a woman, Natalia Aziza, she, she is also a cinematographer, you know, she is also a filmmaker, sorry. And she's, she lives now in Boston, I think. And uh, she, she heard me about uh, my movie. And uh, Natalia Aziza, she, she is uh, half Russian and half uh, Moroccan. And she was born in Israel. Hmm. And we started to be, to be friends. And she had me on Facebook. And uh, I remember two months after, I have a screening in, uh, in Israel with my first movie, Chinrir Jerusalem. And Natalia Aziza shared on uh, her wall uh, this clip about uh, Neta uh, when she sang uh, Ya Umi of Lin Monti. Wow, I was very surprised and uh, I have this, uh, this uh, project to go to, to Israel and uh, I put just a comment, you know, I wrote a comment. Uh, oh, I want to meet her. It's uh, wow, it's incredible. She's uh, an Israeli woman and uh, I want to, to meet her. And she, she, Natalia Ziza, she wrote just uh, uh, after me, you know what, uh, the father of Neta uh, is, uh, he was born in Tinrir. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it, yeah, I want to meet her immediately, you. you know? It's yeah, fate. <laughs> and uh, I was in Jerusalem. She, get, she gave me her, her number and she came to my hotel Neta and it was the beginning of the this big uh, story on the, between Neta and Amit and me. What an amazing story. So, oh, you, yeah. so you first met Neta and then you, uh, you developed this film and um, the film picks up on some of the same themes about identity and nostalgia and crossing boundaries. Um, what I found so striking about your second film is that there's uh you add this dimension of music and um when i first watched the film i was i was very struck by how in the first few minutes i think even the first two minutes of the film we are introduced very quickly almost we plunge in to a world of many languages that the first few moments of the film you hear Arabic, you hear Hebrew, you see English subtitles, and then there's almost yeah. a fourth yeah. language of music. To me, the difference between your first film and your second film is that music comes to occupy a central role, yes, in the film. And so tell us a little bit about why, why the focus on music. What does music mean for you? in this work you know the music is not is not used in my movie like an illustration about something you know it's uh, also characters a main characters of the movie and i think it's a thread of all the movie uh, the music uh, connect people uh, between them and of course neta she's a singer she sings in uh, Moroccan Arabic in Darija, and uh, the music, uh, this is also our common territories. And um, I constructed also when you heard 
the, um, the translation of the mu all the music uh, talking about love, you know, right. but uh, about love, about, um, about separation, uh, love between men and women, of course, you know, and, but it's love also between, uh, uh, about, about the culture, about the land, about the Adama, and uh, we can see a metaphor about this, uh, about this separation between Jews and Muslims. You know, the music permit also to, to tell uh, there is not a fatality uh, with a big story. Okay, uh, the big story, uh, they separated the, our parents, our grandparents, but we can uh, rebuild something new between us in the present, in the future. In real Jerusalem, it was a, the, the movie about the past, but this movie is uh, very universal and it's uh, very it's about the present. And I believe, uh, I believe really, and the power of the music can be uh, something uh, to, to 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 make bridge between people. Because when I, you know, uh, for Neta to sing in Arabic, it's a, it's a politic art act, specifically in your area. Okay, uh, because the Arabic is a language of the enemy, but also in Morocco, because, you know, a lot of people, they have a prejudice about other because they don't know other each other, you know. And I remember when Neta, uh, when I, uh, I introduced Neta for to, to, to go to a Sawira to make her first uh, concert uh, in a Sawira, uh, during this incredible festival, uh, Des Andalusie Atlantic, created by the advisor king, you know, Andrea Zoulet. 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 And when the audience saw Neta singing uh, in Arabic, they, yeah. specifically Yakamama, the song of, uh, uh, the song of uh, Zohra al Fasia, the audience were in trance, you know, totally in trance, I'm not joking, you know, to see uh, the audience, very multiple Jewish, Israeli, French, Moroccan, uh, Muslim, uh, Amazir, they, she, 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 for the, we lived something incredible uh, to see all these people singing together, to see this young woman, Israeli, living in Jerusalem, talking in Arabic, in Darija, uh, she decided with Amit also to learn Palestinian. This is something big. This is something incredible. Uh, this is a politic act, you know. We don't need to, to I don't know, uh, to be, uh, come on, uh, you know, I was teacher and, uh, oh, I don't know, I don't remember anyway. But to be dogmatic, to tell, ah, I love other, blah, blah, blah. Just to see people in uh, uh, in act, you know, uh, making bridge, uh, decide to, to learn the language of other. Like me, I decided also to learn Hebrew, you know. And I think this movie, it's a, it's a miroir, it's a mirror about, uh, uh, about my experience about the experience of Neta, and we shared with Neta and Amit a lot of things, you know. Uh, we are in between. There are Israeli, uh, but the so for them, uh, is not uh, enough. They, they, for them, it was important to, uh, to, 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 to go to the roots also, to the Morocco. I am French, I am Moroccan. And uh, my French identity is not enough also. And my American, and I decided to come back here also. You know, we can make a parallel, but uh, the big difference, uh, and I, I have a big empathy with these uh, things also. Uh, my only big difference with Neta and Amit, until now I have a house, I have a place in, uh, in Tinrif. I have my family there, you know, and Neta and Amit, they don't have it, you know, and I think the music uh, for them, it's, uh, 
an intimate territory, right. you know, right. to find the place in this world, to find something uh, important for them. They, they are tikkun shilahem, it's a reparation also for them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also a tikkun for me, you know, mm -hmm. to, to repair this tragedy of separation. And uh, we are a lot of Muslim and Jews um, in this world, uh, writers, uh, musicians, filmmakers, uh, people, uh, to decide to, to make something ensemble together, you know, and uh, not this uh, big story is not dead, you know, uh, it's still alive by music, there is a revival. And I believe in that, it's a very politic, you know, uh, why I decided also to make a movie. Because, you know, uh, I told you I wanted to make a PhD. Uh, I am also an intellectual little bit, you know. <laughs> and, you know, my mother, I never been to, my, to school. Uh, she's an alphabet. And my grandmother, she, she don't talk uh, in Darija. She knows only, only uh, Tamazight. Mm -hmm. And I want... I want to change mentalities. I, I believe in that, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it's a politic act uh, to, 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 to make a movie because, uh, and I saw, saw the reaction in Morocco, uh, the, mar the majority of reaction were re re very positive. And uh, because they saw this Moroccan French uh, from Tinri, it's like Peripheria, the periphery of Shelanu. It's like Netivot, like Dimona, you know. I'm not from the, I not come from the elite, from the intellectual family. Ah, I will, I will give a lesson about tolerance, about to be open mind. I am from this uh, periphery uh, with the, I think with a deep uh, message about uh, in politics, you know, to, to embrace, to, to make people together, I believe in the diversity, etc., etc. And now it's uh, more difficult to have this voice because the people uh, also in Morocco, you know, uh, they believe in, ah, we are only Arab and Muslim. Uh, in, in Israel, uh, we are only Jewish and uh, Israeli, in Palestinian, etc., etc., you know. And, uh, and for me, uh, yeah, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Oh, sorry. I uh I just I you're you're saying so many things. I have I have one question after another. So so I would like to I'd like to cool. um to draw out what I understood only from this conversation um about what I think you're trying to do and and if I could share with you what I'm hearing and tell me if I'm understanding um what what the message is it almost sounds like the music can do the tikkun in a way that nationalism and uh land struggles cannot and what i mean by that is what what you said what i thought was so powerful is that neta namit coming back to morocco they they didn't come back to morocco to live there, right? They wanted a passport. They wanted an official, Netta wanted a passport. She wants an official evidence that she belongs, but she didn't buy a house in Morocco. But she came back, you said many times, right? Seven times, I think is what you said. So she, she and Amit are coming back. They're going home or they're leaving home, right? There's that complicated journey uh, but by entering into the world of music you said that they are creating place they're creating a space for themselves and a place in which all the aspects of their identity can reside so that music is not just that feel good we're all together let's sing a song together but that music can create a circle of repair of to be able to come home without the land without the politics without the nationalist did i exactly. understand that correctly of course it, the music it's an intimate place you know uh, the with the music we don't have the borders 
We don't have the wall between people, you know. We can share the same feelings uh, just to be together. And uh, it's very it's something very universal. It's uh, more big to it's it's more big to the nationalism and to you know and uh, and uh, I think for them it's uh, they created something. Uh, this is the intimate place, and uh, we can yeah we can share something very big together. What's What's interesting though is that in order for th that repair to happen. Neta came to Morocco and sang Heck Ya Mama. She sang yeah. an intimate right. Moroccan song. She entered into Moroccan music. It isn't that Jewish and Muslim musicians sing together, I don't know, Bob Marley, right? It isn't just the, it's not the act of yeah. singing together. It's the act of entering back into the culture of one's ancestors, of her ancestors in order to be fully, fully present. Is yeah. that, is that how you see it? Yeah, of course. It's an example about uh, coexistence. You know, it's also when Neta sang this song, Yakamama, she understood, uh, she said that in the movie, you know, she found the point of uh, our common history when she saw the reaction of the Muslim audience. And, uh, and uh, yeah, of course, the music, it's a, it's a, it's a territory without, uh, uh, without nationalism, you know, without, uh, and we, they are big pity because we, we, we live in, uh, in this context now, uh, in France with uh, Marine Le Pen, uh, in uh, my country with the Islamist uh, party, uh, with the Trump, but now Hamdullah is not uh, is not uh, not will be the president for the next uh, four years, and also in Israel and Palestine, you know, and um, it's terrible because the people uh, they they play always with the the fear, you know, and uh, we with the music we we, we cannot on we cannot to be afraid about other. And uh, on the music, it's a very the tree uh, between people. What was it like to go with Netta to Morocco the first time? What? What, what, what was the reaction? You, when Netta and Amit went to Morocco the first time, were you with them? Uh, not for the first time, but uh, when we filmed and uh, when we we shared a lot of moments in Morocco, uh, they they came in my place in Marrakesh. We we sh we we have a lot of friends uh, on common. I introduced them a lot of people here in Morocco, you know. And uh, when Neta and Amit they are here, you know, they are totally Moroccan, you know. But with this. Uh, Distance also, like me, I live in Morocco, but uh, uh, I, I, I'm not identified totally with uh, with my French identity and also with my Moroccan identity. I love them both, but with a distance. I'm not nationalist. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm definitely not nationalist. You know, and uh, when Amit, you saw in the movie. When he was, he told me, yeah, Kamal, I have a project to, to renew this, to renew this cemetery of uh, my family in uh, Tizgi. Yeah, okay, go, go there, go, go there, Amit, and uh, I will follow you. And he stayed one week with this, uh, uh, all this village, Amazir village, you know, in the middle of nowhere. And you saw this, um, that young Muslim man and the whole people, they are very, uh, they are not intellectual, they are very simple, you know, and they are more, they accepted Amit uh, in equality in the same level, you know, it was just incredible. And, uh, and uh, wow, it was just incredible to see uh, Amit in this place. And until now we have a little community, you know, living in Morocco. 
and um, yeah, we can uh, we can live together. It's not a problem specifically now. Um, as I mentioned to you, I had the great fortune to live in Fez um, in 1999 for five months, and I, like most people who go to Fez, I fell in love with with the country. So. I think that we can all live together in Morocco because it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I want to yes, ask. Yes, in Morocco. I want to ask you a, a final question. Um, since this is a political act, and you are on a journey, what what message do you want viewers to leave with? What are you trying to convey? Uh, oh. What was my message? Um, you know, uh, I told you uh, in this politic uh, hard context in your country, in France, in um, a lot of countries, you know, with the with this racism, with this anti-Semitism, and uh, with this uh, people. Uh, they had, they can hate people because uh, you are Jews and you are Muslim and you are black and you are, uh, I don't know, uh, LGBT, etc., etc. And uh, my message is to, you know, I, I finished my uh, first movie, Tinerir uh, Jerusalem, with these sentences. Uh, je, je connais. Attends, c'était quoi ma phrase? Je suis uh, on connaît l'autre parce que on rencontre quelqu'un d'autre. J'ai j'ai eu besoin de j'ai eu besoin de connaître l'autre pour me connaître moi. You know what I mean in in English? Because I, I found myself through other, through the alterity, you know. And uh, we cannot define people by uh, their nationality and. Uh, you know, you told, you told me the, the identity is very complex. It's always in, uh, in the movement. And my message is that, you know, we can, uh, you know, I am Moroccan, I am French, I am Shle, I'm a I am, I am, uh, I am secular, but uh, my, uh, my parents uh, are Muslim, you know, and uh, I have all this, my identity, and uh, I have it. I have all this identity with the distance, you know. And I love them in the poetic way, in the poetic and politic way also. And uh, I don't believe in the, in the, you know, in French we have this debate about uh, Muslim, uh, about terrorism, and about this amalgam between uh, terrorism and Muslim. And uh, I hate when people essentialize people, you know, and uh, we are different. We, we, perhaps I am more close with you, Raquel, uh, if I compare with the Islamist uh, Moroccan, you know, because we, we share, uh, I'm sure, the same value about other, about dignity, about uh, to be against uh, all the racism, you know, and also, Palestinian and the Israeli with the same value, they are more close if you compare, I don't know, a Jewish racist against Arab and the Palestinian racist against Jews, you know. Uh, they share the same Sina, you know. And uh, my message is, is just that, you know, to, to, to think uh, without border, without uh, uh, tribu, to, to you know, I told you how we can manage to be uh, to be loyal and in the same time to be honest also, right? To, not to be a traitor and uh, voila, you know. I think that's that's the real challenge to not run away from who we are, to embrace the complexity of who we are and celebrate our each of our own heritages, and to also be open to uh, crossing those boundaries. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed our conversation, Kamal. 
Thank you. It's been, uh, it's been a wonderful journey for me, and I encourage everyone to go see both films um, because I think right. that your, your message is, uh, is a profound one. It's not just about let's be friends, but it's uh, really delving into complexities around identity, around memory, nostalgia, forgetting and uh, exile, emancipation, where you started from. So thank you very much. I will just uh, end with one sentence for our Hebrew viewers. Toda l'chol mi shetzafa banu, festival dokutex nimshach ad ha-asrim v'chamisha b'november, u-matziya l'chem sratim metsuyanim l'tzfiya online, הרצאות, שיחות עם יוצרים ועוד שלל אירועים. כל המידע באתר הפסטיבל. תודה רבה וערב טוב.